All right, so we've been getting a lot of different questions on different compatibility and installation and how the ways you can use some of our products. So this video is gonna go over the Adapt One uh, and everything you can kind of do with it. Uh, obviously it's kind of up to your imagination what you wanna do with it, but this is kind of a general overview of what we designed it for. So to start the material of, a, of an Adapt One along with any of our uh, adapter line series is Tigris. Um, this is an eight layer Tigris, in case you're specifically wanting to know the, the thickness. Um, and so the de design here is a Molly footprint of one column of Molly for the Adapt One. And our whole pattern here is slotted in order to give you kind of a wide variety of angles that you might want to find on a, on a tech lock. So Primarily, this is designed as an adapter to let you take standard Molly pouches and attach them to a quick, uh, tech lock for kind of a quick disconnect, as well as get a bunch of different angles out of your just your standard Molly pouch. So that's your, your primary intent. Um, and with that, these are compatible with the old Blackhawk clip, uh, as well as the new one. Um, it's also compatible with Wilder Tacticals clips. Uh, we recommend the uh, the UAB rotating, um, just so you get as much you know variation out of that as you want. Um, it's also compatible with the ELS from Safari Land as well as the QLS, um, and then basically anything else that's this same tech lock style hole pattern. Uh, it's designed to to fit that. The Adapt One is going to be more compatible because of that slotted uh, hole pattern, um, as well as you can attach it if you want hard mounted you can attach it to any of our micro series um, to attach anything to a belt at whatever angle you might want to use um, it also fits on some of the holster builder smaller more narrow clips and you can see you can still get angles out of that so that's just one example so uh, what you're going to do for a typical installation onto a tech lock your package is going to come with three sets of screws and what you're gonna to wanna to do is attach it to the tech lock first. So we're just gonna go with a standard, roughly 45 degree cant for this one. And what I recommend is to get a really snug lock up on your Molly, you put the rubber washer or rubber spacer on the side of the screw on the inside between the fold of the adapter itself. So don't snug it down all the way until you find the angle that you want. Now you can see you can get a wide variety of angles just by that one point there. And that can go all the way horizontal to vertical. But for this, we're gonna do, and then you can also adjust kind of ride height but we're going to set this one kind of kind of deep and so you're just going to use two of those hardware that come with the package to mount and then you snug it down and you'll see that those the more you snug it down the more those rubber spacers pancake out and they will grab onto the molly. Now all you're gonna do is run it through your molly. Take your spit your T post. Place that in there. And then put your rubber spacer between the two pieces of Tigris. flatten out and now you've got a nice tight lockup so that's a angled pouch on a tech lock so you can pop that off and on your belt really easy lets you set it up however you want um, kind of gives you a wide variety of angles and, and everything like that um, another intent uh, we're going to use we're going to use this as a 
example of like a vest or a backpack or something like that. Um, if you want to molly mount hard items, it's like this pistol magazine pouch, um, it's going to work the same kind of concept as the tech lock, but in reverse. So to install that, same principle. Again, don't snug it down right away. Find where it's lined up. Okay, and then all you're going to do is slide that through your vest or whatever that might be. Same thing, put your T-post, then your rubber spacer. to avoid cross-threading. Sorry, it's hard to do with a camera in my face. So now that's locked down on that. Um, and then a third method is to replace malice clips. Um, so you can actually weave this through. Now the adapt one is really the only one that has this purpose, um, but same principle. Um, you can molly, molly to molly pouches, actually weaving them together for a secure lockup if you're not trying to use uh, like WTF straps or or the any kind of other stuff. Or if you want to, you know, typically they have the built-in straps, but for like an S-TAC, if you wanted to mount an S-TAC to this, you could do that. Um, but this is another way to show that anytime you use a molly pouch, you do not have to remove its organic molly strap. So if I wanted this shears uh, pouch on a tech lock for whatever reason you do not have to cut anything off or modify anything um a lot of people tell us that that they cut a bunch of their stuff apart so you do not need to do that um this was designed to uh attach to as many different molly pouches as possible without modifying your stuff uh and i think that covers just about everything um if you guys have any further questions uh, you can hit us up at uh, Guardian Warriors Solutions on Instagram, or uh, you can email us directly at uh, guardian.warrior.solutions at gmail.com. Uh, and that should be it. Thanks.